The rapid aging isn't documented in the report. We're not sure why it happened, but it's certainly connected with the reaction of Earth's atmosphere on the body. Now, gentlemen, let's concern ourselves with the three main questions regarding UFOs. One, where do they come from? Now, the fact that the lungs were filled with an oxygenated liquid seems to indicate a subjection to phenomenal acceleration and fantastic speed over a long period, long enough for the skin to pick up the green coloration of the liquid. Now, all this would appear to add up to an extended journey through space, perhaps several months, at many times the speed of light. Question number two, who are they? Well, obviously, in science and technology, several hundred years in advance of man. But everything in this report seems to add up to a dying race. Hereditary sterility was evident. But by using drugs and advanced transplant techniques, they could have found a way to stop the natural aging process. They are also highly intelligent, so they presumably come to Earth knowing the risk of contact with our atmosphere. Which brings us inevitably to question number three. Why do they come? This report indicates five major organ and gland transplants. In the case of the heart, tissue compatibility tests shows that it was human in origin. It came from Earth, gentlemen. Therefore, one of the reasons they must obviously come is to obtain organ replacements. But there may be other reasons. Imagine a dying planet in some distant corner of the universe. Its natural resources exhausted. Its inhabitants sterile. Doomed to extinction. A situation we may one day find ourselves in, gentlemen. So they discover Earth, abundant and fertile, able to satisfy their needs. They look upon us not with animosity, but with callousness, as we look upon our animals whom we depend on for food. Yes, it would appear they are driven by circumstance across a billion miles of space, driven on by the greatest force in the universe, survival. 